going to be talking about today is sticky positioned elements and the difference between top margin offset value and margin. So what we're going to take a look at really quick is we have a very simple photo right here and we're going to set the position type to sticky and we are going to mess with the top offset and discuss what the difference between that and margins are. So first things first, what I want us to notice is that this image is set right literally sits right next to or comfortably next to this navigation it has a uh, zero margin at the top and we've just you know we've aligned it so that it's at the top of this section so first things first is what I want to show you is if we set this top offset to zero this is what it looks like we're gonna go ahead and set to preview and really our image touches uh, essentially where the border of the image is um, it touches right where um, the top of this section is and to show you guys specifically what I mean I am going to make this a little bit more simple or visible rather I'm going to change the background to this section to a lime and so what you guys see here is there is space what I could do is I can move this up right so it's here so you guys can really see um, what's happening but I'm gonna leave this here and just showcase to you that there is space um, in this image because when we preview what I'm saying is that you can see this image stays sticky and it is right along the top of this uh, section here. It stays sticky. There is no um, there's no pixels between the top of the website and this section and this image. And so, what offset really does is it only affects the pixel the pixels between where the image is and the top of a section. So when I say when we say top offset, um, let's go ahead and just put 40% or 40 pixels here. If we go and preview, we will not see any margin change. There's no pixels now between this photo and this navigation, whereas if I put 40 pixels here in the margin, you would see, oh, the image moved exactly 40 pixels, and now there's 40 pixels between the navigation or the top of this section and this image. But if we don't have this, right, let's put this back to zero where it was. Let's go to, back to preview. Now when I scroll, and what you guys will see here, still, there is no space between the top of this section and the image. But when I scroll, though, there is, you guys see how there's more space here than there was here? that's what top offset is there is 40 pixels in which we are saying hey when we start scrolling make sure this image is sticky and stays 40 pixels below the top of the section so very different than margin now if we set our margin to zero or excuse me our offset to zero so top offset only really has to do with uh, scrolling so if I make this section a little bit longer Okay, let's go back in here. Let's make a somewhat of a obscene top offset 300 pixels. Let's go to preview. Now we can see this. So it's not margin. It's just that now we have it always, what we're telling Editor X is always be 300 pixels away from the top of this section until we move into a, another section. That's why it so, somewhat collapses here, right? Now, it, you know, once we're past the section, now it can, you know, it, that 300 pixels is no more but let's go ahead and click this let's zero this top offset and let's put 300 in our margin now what this is saying is always have this image be 300 pixels away from the top of the uh, the top of the section regardless if we're scrolling or not so when we preview this this will always be 300 pixels from the top okay so that's kind of the difference I hope that answers your question and uh, just think about it like this in summary top offset is basically how when you are scrolling how much space do you want offset from the top of the section to the element that you're controlling and margin is basically a permanent thing always have this element that we are editing be away from this point by 300 pixels so I hope that makes sense it is a little confusing and could be uh, for example like okay well what do we do if we you know the main question in confusion also was what if we have 300 pixels of margin and 300 pixels of offset
I'm going to make this section a little bit even larger here. And the question was, will they cancel out? And the thing is, is it's not necessarily will they cancel out. It's just basically there's 300 pixels of margin, which means that this shoe will be here, right? At 300 pixels. But as soon as we start scrolling, also, we want to keep this. What's happening is the element is also staying 300 pixels from the top. Now what we could do, again to kind of showcase how they're different, is let's go ahead and do a uh, let's do a margin of about 50, right? So now we're closer, okay? And let's see, maybe I'll do it a little bit. I think maybe the offset. I'll maybe do this a little bit smaller, 150, and we're gonna do 20 about. Let's do 20 pixels of margin so you can see one is obscene and one is not so much so we're starting at 20 pixels as we go down it's keeping that a hundred so here if we were to do the math this is really only 20 pixels but as we scroll the amount of space be from the top of the section to this element is the 150 so I hope that makes sense it's a little confusing, but they are not the same. And how you utilize these two things is if you're trying to have a consistent spacing for your element, use margin. If you're trying to make it so that when you are scrolling, there is an, uh, a particular uh, pixel width that you want to have your element away from the top of the section, that is what top offset is for. Okay? So the top of your section or the top of that uh, uh, page is what is um, top of the margin is keeping that space. This is 150 pixels. This is 20. So hope that answers your question. If you did like this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and uh, hope this helps. Thank you so much.